Hello, I'm Pam Elliott, the on-air development manager here at WFYI, and we have the opportunity now to go behind the program, if you will, that's about to air on WFYI. 50 years and circling back, the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band, three members with us right now. And unfortunately, Jeff Hanna not feeling so well right now, but we've got John, Jimmy, and Bob. Thank you for being in and studio Pam. with us. And Pam. I'm here a lot more than you guys are. So you're the special guests. And this program, you have a relationship with PBS, right? I mean, John, this isn't the first time, but this is really a special time for you guys, right? This is a very unusual situation that is, we just are so glad to have happen. We've done other PBS shows, and they were all great. And it's a good way to reach people from Austin City Limits, which may not be PBS, but it's one of them, right? Oh, you see it here on WFYI. Good. But this one was like our deal. Yeah. And we're going to come in and everybody got to do something. People got to see everybody up close. And we got to bring some of our good friends from over the years that we recorded with and made music with and started with. Jackson Brown. And, and others yes. like, yeah, Jackson was there the first few months. And, but he, Jackson was an early member for about right. a, a few months of the Dirt Band, but he stayed in contact you know, went off on his own career. He wrote great songs, and the band recorded some of them. And he, Jimmy played on some of his records. I did, in fact, yes. Well, and what's neat about the 50 years, this isn't like a reunion tour. You guys have really been together for 50 years. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, no, it's a, that's a good thing, right? That's a really good, a good thing. It's a good job. It it's, really is a good job. Well, and Bob, you were saying to me, as we were hanging together, you said, we just love to perform, yeah. right? And as long we, as we can do it, we're we going to do it. We have toured every single year. We have played shows for all 50 years. We've recorded 30 plus albums in that time. And when, you're, when you love what you do and you're still able to do it, um, why not do it? Why not you know? do it, right? And you, you know, sorry, go ahead. No, John. I mean, honestly, you you made the comment because I said that's rare, isn't it? You know, and you said rare. It's unfathomable. Is that what you said? No, no, I didn't say that. <laughs> For me, <laughs> I said that. Yeah. <laughs> you blame me. Okay, I, blame Bob. But no, but really, because you hear about groups coming and going and and maybe reconnecting or getting a new member or something. No, you guys are the real thing. There have been people that have gone through the dirt band, but Jimmy and I and Jeff have played since 66, and Bob came along in 77 and established himself as somebody we wish had been there earlier. I mean, one of the right. songs he sang went to number one. So hey, we're not going to worry about that. Do you want to yeah. just sing it a little, hum it? Yeah. Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> Darn it. I was going to try to yeah, break into well, song here with know, you if I could, it, but I, yeah. It's, okay. it's four o'clock in the morning here if you don't know, so I can't. <laughs> All right. One of the things great about this is that, you know, do you know anybody that you sit at, you call them on the phone, so what are you doing tonight? And they go, oh, not much. I was watching TV, but I've only got 400 channels and there's nothing on. Until I, 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 I saw this thing on PBS. Exactly. You know, it's always a place you can go to. Thank I mean, you. Bob and his wife. Yeah. PBS is always on at our house. Masterpiece Mystery, Mr. P Masterpiece Theater, Doc Martin, Downton Abbey. Uh, we're addicted to the Sherlock <laughs> stuff. Really, I mean, what great, uh, they're, they're all great actors, but really it's, it's a big part of uh, what we watch at home, you know. You know, a lot of people say you, over the years, what's wrong with television? Well, they never bring PBS into that discussion, and that's a cool thing. We're in a category all to our own, aren't we? Yeah. Jimmy, you favor one program or another, or one style? Charlie Rose. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, don't apologize. Truly. Do I favor one show or another? Yeah. PBS show? Um, you know, I've been watching things on disc from the, from the collection, and it's because you can watch three episodes at a time. At a time, right. Yeah. Uh, 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 <laughs> It's just, if you really want to watch something, you want to watch a lot of it. <laughs> right. And we have this new benefit, in fact, for members called Passport. And it's a video library. And they can do that very yes. thing. Because people just don't have time anymore to really necessarily get home to watch that program like yours. I bet many will be recording it um, 50 years and circling back. I got the a thing text is, go ahead. for just one friend the other day. I'm recording it. <laughs> I, was starting, I was starting thinking... Is that is that legal? Can they? Yeah, but the thing they need to know, even though you're, even though you might be recording it, 
if you contribute and you dial in a pledge for things that you like, you get more than that show. It's only the one hour show is just right. a, a yeah. teaser to the extras that are added. Right. Absolutely. And I'm not trying to be a salesman, but I am. But you Because are. it supports the station and, hey, we had a great time at the Ryman. It was like, is it over? I mean, we're there for 10 hours that day, and you, when it was over, it was like, let's do it again, you know? We'll do it again. Let's uh, have another PBS special down the pike. Yeah. Please. Years from now. <laughs> 100 years from now, gentlemen. You know, something real important about the Ryman show that yes. none of us have brought up so far is that all the people that we asked to come join us are PBS supporters, and that was a, yes. a big part of the family effort that day by the cast, crew, and band members, so. You know, we were so fortunate and honored uh, that these people would take time out of their busy schedules. I mean, the, these are legends and the greatest performers and songwriters of our generation. For them to take time and actually come in with us and rehearse and do this show with us was, was an unbelievable gift that they've not only given to us, but to the, to the viewership of PBS when they get to watch this show. Alison Krauss, John Prine. All and the thing that's cool is Jerry Jeff, when he came out and did Bojangles, because, you know, we didn't know him when, when, when we put that out. We went to see him at a club in, in Philadelphia to say, hey, Jerry Jeff. I had to say it like that because he was laying on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> we, we recorded your song, and it's going to be a single. Oh, right. He didn't believe it. and he didn't. Care. But six months later, he moved to Austin and started a new life because Bojangles was on the radio, and he comes out on this show and does it just like it was 1972 in a folk club, just kind of starts and gets into it. it was, it's very cool. And then Jeff picks up the sec. No, I'm not going to say any more. Yeah, that's you gotta right. you got to see it. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. We want people to watch it. I think the one thing we got to remember is, is that all this stuff costs money to bring to PBS and the viewership. Yes. And we don't want great television to go away, and it takes contributions from everybody to do it, even if it's... Five, ten dollars, whatever you can give. Well, thank you. You're right. So don't buy a lottery ticket today. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Because you'll be a winner if you give money to PBS, yeah. for sure. <laughs> you'll get something back, actually. Well, you just made my job a lot easier. I'll tell you, you guys, thank you so much for your passion, for your commitment to PBS, for your talent, and, and keeping the music playing because um, it's great. And I think if you, I do want to ask this for young artists, because we like to promote young artists, too, and give them an opportunity mm -hmm. through our radio and TV ventures. What's the one piece of advice if, if an artist is just starting out? Mm -hmm. Because when they look at somebody like you guys, a, a band like Nitty Gritty Dirt Band, how can we stay in it that long? What's the secret? You can't do it for the money. You can't do it for the fame. You have to do it because you have the passion. You have to look in your heart and know that no matter what, even if you would win the lottery for $30 million, you'd still out, be out there playing the clubs and doing it because you you got to do it. You were sort of put on this earth to do it. All hearts. Listen right. to yourself. Give I, Bob your lottery money and just keep playing. Keep playing. I would say whatever it is, don't give up. And enough peop if enough people tell you that you're doing something wrong and what do you think you're doing and what gives you the idea you can do that, then that means you're on the right track. Keep it up. Because they don't know. They don't know. They don't know. All right. Well, we know you guys are great, and we appreciate your Thanks. time. Thank you. Well, Thank like you. I said to my mom, thanks for having me. And all. <laughs> well, she, didn't, she didn't have them. <laughs> on that note, thanks for sharing a few minutes of your time with us. The Nitty Gritty Dirt Band. Jeff, we wish him well. Yes. Look for their program right here. You won't find it anywhere else. The Nitty Gritty Dirt Band and Friends, 50 years and circling back.